how God re regards you is so very different from how you regard yourself and others. And throughout the revelation is this regard for you, that you're really worth something, that you're really important, that your life is a meaningful event with a purpose and a destiny. Not your purpose and destiny. Your purpose and a destiny. That you're not a biological accident or a creature who's just occupying the landscape. And we hold this in contrast then to how we regard ourselves and others. If we are to know our source and those who sent us and watch over us, we must begin to build this regard. Not just once in a while when people upset us, but actually on a daily basis. The new message says, do no harm and will no harm. Do no harm, will no harm. That's a practice. Wherever you go. So how you are regretted in the revelation, the value given to your life, and the meaning of your destiny, is something for you to adopt. In Steps to Knowledge, there's a step that says, I want to be separate to be unique. It's early, one of the early steps. And of course, we want our religions to be separate to be unique, and our cultures to be separate to be unique, our nations to be separate to be unique, our beliefs to be separate to be unique. This is the force of separation that governs everything we think and do seeking to be separate, to be unique. It is the consequence of living in separation. So to turn the tide, we begin to practice doing no harm, seeking no harm, being compassionate, not disregarding people, listening to people, knowing why they suffer, why they make mistakes, why they do cruel things to themselves and others. Because this is how heaven thinks and looks and listens. So, revenge has to stop somewhere. Counteracting violence with violence has to stop somewhere. Counteracting fear with fear has to start somewhere. There has to be a break, a break in this chain, which seems endless, perpetuating itself endlessly through individuals and cultures and nations. It has to stop somewhere. And the only place it can stop is within individuals. And it must stop within you. And if you can practice this, and this is not easy, believe me, there are situations where this is very hard to do, then you will begin to establish the regard for you that heaven has for you. And you will have this regard for others, this patience, this tolerance, this sensitivity. Yet all, always knowing at the same moment that you have to assess people for their self-awareness and self-honesty and their circumstances in life very objectively. Those two things together. <laughs>